Hey everyone, welcome back to another exciting episode of EXP Gamers. I am Rob Vlog, and I'm a lead hexagram. He is a lead hexagram. Uh, if you haven't had the chance yet, go subscribe to both of our channels. Uh, take a look at them. Also, be feel free to look at some of the other videos we got on here. But today, we got an exciting game for you planned. Uh, we're going to start another game here. We're real excited to do this. We've been excited to do this for a long time. We talked about it. Time and time very, again, very long time. I am talking a course of Jumpstart Adventures, fourth grade. The fourth grade, which is our level, which is our mindset level, actually, in fourth grade. <laughs> no, fuck you, no, fuck that. We're not doing that. that. We're not doing Jumpstart it's fourth too grade. too hard. Screw it. Fourth grade level. I'll tell you what is a hard game, though, that I'd really enjoy to do. What? You know, what I do want to do even more than Jumpstart fourth grade. I don't think there's anything. There is. There is one game that is both challenging and fun. And is at our level of like fourth grade Whoa, intelligence. What game is that? That would be Crash Bandicoot 2. Now, I had the Crash Bandicoot disc somewhere in this damnable apartment, but I can't find it. Uh, I have everything I have it too, but I didn't think to bring it. No. Uh, and we're going to be playing it off the network anyway. You can download it off the PS network. It's a classic game, once again from 1997. Yeah. We're, we're nice. thinking. Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure, pretty pretty sure, sure Crash 1 was from 96. And if you're wondering why the fuck we're not playing Crash 1, it's a really hard game. Crash guys. Bandicoot 1 is legendary, but also extremely difficult. I'm talking like, really, like people just do not even want to play that no, one. How hard it is. The sequels are just very different. They're, they're different. They're, they're, they're equally difficult, but they're, they give you a chance. See what I mean? They give you like, you can see what you're doing. The controls aren't as, as flunky. So, two's the one we're going to start with first. It's personally my favorite out of the original trilogy. I know. That's hard to tell. I, yeah. I mean, it's a tie between that and the third one. The third one's really good, too. Yeah. So. I mean, I just like the second one more because I would play it for hours. I know a good bit of the secrets. I don't know all the secrets. I might look them up here. Um, but I know a couple of good secrets, and it's a very fun game. We're going to probably take turns. When one of us dies, we just take over. If somebody beats a level, we take over. Take you know what I mean? Over, we're just yeah. going to try to take over a lot so that we both get some gameplay footage in there. Now, the funny thing about this is, though, that Andrew's really, like, nervous about platformers altogether. I mean, not Castlevania so much, even though you hear a lot of yelling and screaming about Castlevania. Yelling, this is a game where it's like it's so easy to die. Just die, just Jump, for fall no in reason. The holes, get hit by stuff. You can only get hit a couple times, depending on if you have that fucking mask, mask. on. Yeah. And, uh, um, so it really just you got to be really careful. You got to really know what you're doing, and if you fuck it up, you fuck it up. Like there's no. It's been forever since I played it. Mm -hmm. I'm really rusty. I, I played it here recently and I did a pretty good job. I didn't, you know, beat the whole way through, but I know I've beaten it quite a few times. Um, so there shouldn't yeah. be any kind of problem. We should be all right. Uh, my only concern is probably going to be lives, if anything. But as long as we like, see, but we can farm for lives. In yeah. one, you can't do that. Yeah, you, you can't do that. Start over from a no, no, no. You save can't, point. You can't even save in the first one. Only at certain times. Yeah. Only if you clear the bonus objective. You can. you can run this, out of lives. Yeah. You I just can literally go down back to the first level ever, farm like twenty eight yeah. lives, and then in you can come back up. Now, if you want to do that, if you're really bad at Crash Bandicoot, okay, kudos to you. But for us, we're gonna try to do the best we can without having to. We're do gonna that. do this game without dying once. <laughs> no, no, that's, no, that is no, not gonna happen. Do that, no. Uh, but without further ado, sorry to hold you guys up, but we're really excited to do this. We've been talking about it for a while. We both really enjoy the game, and it's a, it's a classic. You guys just have to watch because you guys are going to enjoy this immensely. Very so, uh, as always, uh, this has been brought to you by Atlantis Productions. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to Crash Bandicoot. Yeah! Two, the Wrath. It's no. Cortex <laughs> it strikes, strikes back. back. The Wrath of Cortex, I'm yeah. pretty sure, is the fourth one. Fourth one? No. Maybe. Yeah, no. Yeah, it uh, is. yeah I think it is. Because three is warped. Yeah. This is my favorite Crash Bandicoot, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that in the introduction video. This is my favorite Crash Bandicoot in the series. Is the second one. Two and three are pretty equal for me. Yeah. No, I considerably like two quite a bit more. Um... Basically, this is how it's going to work. Um, e me and Andrew are going to pick levels, and we're going to just play them until we beat the levels, and then we're going to switch over. Uh, I'm going to play first, pick the first level. I'm going to play through it until I beat it, and then, you know, he picks the level. And then so on and so forth. Yeah. So there's Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Mr. Krabs really <laughs> wants crystals to <laughs> help fund uh, the Krabby Patty, I guess. Krabby Patty's... Krabby... Krabby... The Krabby Patty secret formula. Yeah, exactly. That's what it is. It's crystals. Yeah. So it makes them so good. It makes them so tasty. Um, 
the only other thing I want to mention is if we end up having problems on a level and we really just frustrated, aggravated, kiss guy, maybe we can switch over to another person. That won't count. You know what I mean? We'll, we'll figure it out. It's not that important. We'll let you know who's playing. You know what I mean? It's my point. Yeah. Also, we don't know where all the colored gems are. I know where a couple are. I might be able to do some of them, but that's not important. We're mostly just focusing on beating the game. Yeah. We don't, we're not 100%. We're not going to do 100% on this. It just seems, you know. It'd take too long. Oh, yeah. You know what? I think they start you out in World 1, Level 1, right now. Well, that, that's perfect. I, maybe. I don't I remember. Think they, no, yeah, they do. Yeah, I think this is. Unless this is like a pre thing. I don't yeah. you know. Oh, I can't use the analog stick. Well, damn. <laughs> No, man, this is really old school. Yeah. So there's Coco just chilling her laptop back there. And it's great how they show you, like, these old games, they don't tell you a tutorial. This is the tutorial, you know what I mean? There's yeah. There's no circle button to run, no... Which is nice. ...high like jump, it. you know what I mean? No, you, people wouldn't know about that, you know what I mean? Like, you literally have no, to just, you'd like... you have to just fuck around. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be doing that to yeah, the whole Yeah, man. Game? There's our mask friend. Yeah. That means Extra we can life. get hit. Always good. Twice without dying. This is a world where they're like, I'm sorry, but who went around in this forest and put these boxes, <laughs> boxes. To, with the fruit? Where in? do the boxes come? Oh damn it! Where do the boxes oh. come from? So that's the silver things is getting all the boxes, right? Is that what the silver gems always? Oh get? no, that was just a tutorial. That wasn't the actual first one. Was level. so there's yeah. a little, there's a little glimpse, and I guess we get we get teleported to here by yeah. Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Who tells us that he's like, we're friends, we're allies now, so, to stop an evil guy. So you're telling me he was in the first game? Yeah. He was the final boss of the first game. As far as we played it, we beat like two or three bosses, and we never even saw a glimpse of Cortex. No, because they, there was no story in Crash Bandicoot 1. None whatsoever. This one has a tiny bit more story, only because Cortex is trying to get you to collect crystals. Why does he want crystals? What are they for? He's telling Crash that the reason to get the crystals is to defeat a, um, a different scientist. There is no difference. Yes, there is. And the different scientist wants us to defeat Cortex because he tells us he's tricking us by collecting gems. Wait, who the hell is this other scientist? Uh, what is his name? It's not, it's not Engine. Um, Engine's evil. Engine, we saw him. No, Engine. He has that thing well, the other guy's evil, too. They're both evil, but it's just one scientist versus another scientist. Uh, what do we want to name ourselves? Just put EXP You want to just do EXP? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I don't remember another guy at all. Yeah, well, it's, really I, like all. you said, it's probably been a while since you played this game. It's been a long time. There's three scientists, and I don't remember his name. He has, he has like, uh, screws coming out of his head. He looks like Frankenstein. Well, we just saw Engine that has the warhead in his head. Yeah, no, that's the end of the head, and then there's Engine. Just get in no, Turtle Woods, no, man. That's, just get in Turtle that's Woods. That's Cortex. Cortex has the end on his head. Engine has the rocket ship that's through his I head. That's what I just said. Yeah. That's what I just said. Engine just, has the rocket we ship. We just saw him. Yeah. Okay. He has the warhead in his And head. then there's another one. All right. Um, I'm just going to play this level normally. There is something. I, I, I can get the special gem in this level, but I'm going to do that later. I'm not worried about it right now. This is the hardest level in the entire game, <laughs> so bear with us. No, this is easy. He's going to die about 12 times, nah. guys. This is real easy. You'd have to be, like, really drunk to die on this level. Well, there is one section of this level that is a little tough. Uh, the reason I say that is is because you have to walk backwards in order to get all the all the chests, all the boxes. Yeah. So I and I usually do try to go for all boxes. I don't know if that's that lo this level or the next level. I don't quite remember. Come on now. So and I think obviously the people that made this took some uh, took some trademark things from Mario, like collecting fruit, like mm -hmm. collecting coins. You get a hundred, you get another yeah. life. Now this isn't actually a bonus stage. This is just this is actually part of the level, so I can die here. A lot of times when you go into these types of places, it's a bonus spot. This one would say bonus on the bottom if it was actually bonus. This is actually a missable place. And the only thing tough about this is uh, I think there's a spot up here that's tough. No, not that. Maybe I'm just full of crap. Go ahead and jump on that green box there. <laughs> uh, yeah. Nitro? Oh, damn. And then you do that. And then you do the spin slide, which is a very difficult move Whoa. to do. 
So yeah, I probably would fail in the nitro. Yeah, right you there. have to you have to master that. Same here. If you want to get 100% box completion, you have to destroy the bouncer, and then uh, do a slide dash. And this is tough. Ah, oh, oh. damn! I screwed up. That's that's, okay. that's the tough spot. You have to you have to literally while he's still in the air slide dash up there. It's really tough. And then that means I also mess up that one too. I don't get that one either. It's just very disappointing because a lot of times. I wonder if I can, uh, no, I can't. Don't even do it, yeah, man. Don't risk it! Yeah. Well, that's a shame, because now I don't have the... That's where I usually fuck up, is right there, because, uh, to get, to get the, the normal gem, which is to get all the boxes. You get into a normal gem by collecting all the boxes. Um, but of course, I screwed that up because of the ostrich. So here, we're only gonna guarantee we're getting all the purple crystals! <laughs> yeah. Purple crystals is all we really care now, about. You want to now, that the that, this is the bonus place. I was just say you look like you're gonna totally walk. No, I was it. just getting the wampa fruit up ahead. Oh. Uh. And collecting this much wampa fruit early on is great because it adds so many more lives that we it desperately does. need. That way we don't have to come back and farm later. But I mean, it's and it's nice. It's not like the first game, which is terrible. Yeah, where you can only die save. and you got. There's yeah. only certain save points. This you can save any time you fucking want. Yeah, which is much better. Oh, I screwed that up. There we go. Much better. Look at that. I used to have a little crash figurine, and he came with a crystal. Oh, yeah? I think he came with some fruit, too. Hmm. <laughs> See, this is the part I want to show you real quick. You know how I say to get the crystal in this level, you have to hit no boxes? Uh -huh. This is where it's tough. Try and jump, get over that. Like yeah, that. Yeah. That's literally all you got to do. I know I can do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's okay. not. Yeah, it's not difficult. That's not that bad. No, well, and, and basically just hit no boxes. Now you have to be careful because when you spin enemies, they sometimes knock into boxes. Yeah, they you do. Almost, so you almost have to hit no enemies either. Invincibility! Which doesn't really help me here because it's just kind of like I got to kill these guys in order to continue. So I'm just gonna stand on them. There's only two of them though. Yeah, it's not that bad. Got it. Eleven lives. That's what I like. Oop. I've always tried to jump over that, and you never can. Those guys aren't even a threat. <laughs> no. Oh, hang on. I'm going to get as much Wampa Fruit as possible. Ooh. Oh, I forgot that was an extra life. There's our crystal. But we don't get the crystal until we beat the level. Like, if we were just to leave back to... Because we, at any time, we can leave back to the main hub. Yeah, but who's going to do that? No, not when you're this close to the end of the level. All right. So uh, yeah, and we missed uh, a couple boxes because of the damn ostriches. That's not bad, though. That's not too bad. All right. You suck! I do suck! You suck! I suck, suck so much! We'll make sure to save here real quick. And save then, and then call it an episode. Probably. Yeah. But we got our first crystal. We beat our first level. Yeah. Now, now he's going to talk to us. Which is weird, because they're enemies, and yet Cortex wants you to, like, collect, you know, crystals. And somehow I'm dumb enough to fall for that. Yeah. Really? He's just gonna be like, yeah! Mm hmm Well, when you have a silent protagonist, it's hard to display, like, what he's actually thinking. Same thing with Link and Zelda? Yeah. Your sister knows. Mm -hmm. She's not dumb. She's like, dude, mm -hmm. don't trust him. Don't fucking trust him. She's like, Cortex is up to something, Crash! And, and you're I'm just like, like yeah, I'm just gonna go get more fruit. Yeah. Two percent. Uh, yeah. Two percent done. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really moving along here. <laughs> All right, guys. So next time we're which which one are you going to next time? I don't know. Let me think about. It. See, it's hard to see. There's a snow place. Yep. Snow place. There's hang a, eight. The pits. The pits. Crash dash. That's a boulder. Thing. Boulder. It's hard to see. Boulder. It's hard to tell. You don't know what the fuck you're walking into. Well, snow go isn't a isn't a polar bear one, so you'd be all right there. I can do them too, you know. Okay, I'm just saying. I beat this game all the levels myself, you know. <laughs> next time on Crash Bandicoot 2, we're gonna pick a. Andrew's gonna pick a level and he's gonna play. So see you guys next time.